everybody, Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas welcoming you to the famed Boardwalk Hall in Atlantic City, New Jersey, where so many great fights have gone on through the years for a much anticipated main event. Ten rounds of heavyweight action between Muhammad Ali and Iron Mike Tyson. Muhammad Ali is making his way to the ring with such confidence. That is the look of a fighter who knows exactly what tonight's outcome will be. Mike Tyson's coming down to the ring now. And what a nice reception as he is completely focused in on his goal tonight. at all times. Let's touch him up. Scheduled to go the full 10 if we get that far. Round one underway. Up top with the right hand. Ali's combination punching is working well here. What are some of the adjustments that can typically be made halfway through a matchup like this of speed versus speed? Just to remind your charge, your fighter, that, hey, there's a lot more to this world, to this fight, than just speed. Why don't you start doing other things? Why don't you start fainting a little bit? Get the guy out of position a little bit. Get him into false moves. Well placed, straight right hand. And now another left. Good fighting, snapping shot by Mike Tyson. Muhammad Ali is on the bad end of a very impressive hook up top. 90 seconds to go here in this round. Good flush shot upstairs. Ali is doing well here with that two punch combination. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Good job, it was sudden, it was fast, it was direct by Muhammad Ali. Will you look at this? Look at this pace that these two are fighting at so early in the fight. Teddy, each man must have been determined to think they can get the other one out of here early. Yeah, I want to see who blinks first, though. That's what's interesting to me. Who changes? They can't both keep this up. He committed to the jab, and then he brought home the bacon with the uppercut. Well done. Iron Mike with a big uppercut. A huge right hand from Mike Tyson. Ali's bang by a big uppercut. Good job on the two. Stay away from him. Keep throwing that jab. Okay, doing good. Doing good. Just keep it up, all right? Very good. Very good. You don't need that. Get out of the way. I got it. Listen, you need to move your head from side to side, okay? I want to see that head move more. You don't need that. that Here we go. Round two is underway. Takes one, gives one. The right hand scores well. Teddy, he did a smart thing right there. Just created enough space and then landed the counter punch. It looked like the will of the whips, the old great Willie Pep. Made him miss, made him pay. Finish with the hook. Stay down the 
Ali's showing that walking stick right now, utilizing the jab. You know, that jab is so basic, so simple, but as you can see, so very effective for him early on in this fight. Yeah, well, as he's telling his opponent, you're not coming onto my property. You know, I have a dog here, and this dog bites. And yet another right hand lands. Teddy, there have been those who have gone the distance with a prime Mike Tyson, but they never really gave you the sense that they were capable of winning and doing so. Because they did not have that belief, that sense themselves. They got to a point where they were a cult conspirator to their own demise. That they were cooperating with the wrong guy, with the enemy. They were not looking to win. They were hoping to either survive or get the hell out of there. They used to make silent agreements on the inside. When they had opportunities to work, they didn't work. They put their hands behind Tyson and they hoped that he would hold on and they would get a free ride. That if they didn't hurt him, he wouldn't try to hurt them. Oh, a nice juke punch combo by Muhammad Ali. Goes up top with the right hand. He pushes. A crushing two-punch combo by Muhammad Ali. And the round comes to an end. Ali's statistics really shine in that last round. You can see that he was able to land more punches than his opponent. Now, it's not black and white. You land more punches, you win the round. But in this case, I do think he's up on the scorecards based on that round. Yeah, I believe he is too. You know, you're looking at it, and you just feel that he's got control of the pace, the tempo. You know, he's winning the fight, but... There's a risk there because he's starting to throw a lot of punches sometimes a little carelessly. That's going to leave him a little bit open to a counter. And round number three is underway. Ali's showing you what it takes to be the best in this business. Good, crisp combos. Wow, Teddy, he's got some great hand speed there. That combination was an example of it. Yeah, it was. You know, not a lot of power, not a lot of pop with it, but boy, it catches your attention. And you know what? That kind of speed can intimidate a guy and keep his opponent maybe from moving his hands later on. Ali's putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Punch and move! Punch and move! Iron Mike lands the left. Good. Not precise at all by Muhammad Ali. Ali's hitting the mark right now. How precise was he there with that three-punch combo? That's a solid right hand by Muhammad Ali. You're doing great. Muhammad Ali's work in training camp is now paying off. Oh, and Ali is rocked. Muhammad Ali went down after eating that power punch. Down he goes, but he's going to continue on, beating the count. A shooting right hand by Mike Tyson, putting his punches together. Good combination by Muhammad Ali. Nice! Needs to improve that accuracy, miss with the headshot. Good look at right hand after he got hit. Good block by Ali. Focus. Just 10 seconds to go in this round. Look at that combination by Muhammad Ali. And this round comes to an end. Slug it out, this guy, right? Keep your range. Jam, jam, right, okay? You don't need that. Throw that away.
keep your hands up, all right? You have to keep your hands up. Where's your body work? Hit the body. Let's take a look at Teddy's scorecard, where you can see that he's only got that one round in the bank so far at the beginning of round number four. But Teddy, just the psychology of the game, knowing that you've put your man down on the canvas, you really don't care about the scorecard at that point. Well, you know you're the boss, and you can continue to be the boss. And more importantly, the opponent now, he's a little concerned about throwing something. He might get caught, he might get hurt again. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counterpunches. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Range, range. Lands flush with the two-punch combo by Muhammad Ali. Unable to score with the hook. He's tired. And another right hand comes in. Ali's showing you a little defensive skill there. Able to move away from that punch. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. See if it keeps up in this round what has been a very even fight. Punches and bunches, combination up top. Muhammad Ali's making for a clinic here in combination punching. Well, the first couple punches here, Joe, that's throwaway punches to really set up the payoff down the road. You see the third punch, the fourth punch, the fifth punch. They are the ones that wind up landing. At his best when the combinations are landing. He scored well there with that combo. Good right hand. Tyson's landed a good solid combination. Halfway through this round here. He took a shot, but he came back with a right hand of his own. Ali's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. Nice work, nice work. Good counter punch. I loved how he moved off to the side and landed it. Yeah, that's real smart. That's something that you teach in the gym. And you love when you see it executed. Scores with a combo to the head. Punch 
Tyson's in desperate need of an adjustment here. His style is not conducive to this fight turning around right now. These middle rounds are not being won by a brawling style. No, not at all. If he had a physical guy in front of him, he'd get away with it. But he's got a technician in front of him. A guy who's just taking him apart, little by little. End of the round of what has been a very close and highly competitive fight. Teddy, how do you see this right now? I see it almost dead even. And I see whoever finishes the rounds, because in these kind of tight rounds, if you finish up good, the judges remember that. You need to cover up more, okay? If you're leaving yourself open too much, cover up. Here you go. Here we are getting ready for the second half of this fight as we've reached the sixth round. Get your hands up! Not able to land the headshot. He's working the jacket. We're committed to the combination punching down. It's working out well up top. Move your head! Mike Tyson's looking for a way to get this fight back on course. A course that can get him a victory. This isn't it. Just trying to counterpunch in these middle rounds. No, this is not it. He's not thinking right. You know, it's one thing to say physically, technically, he needs to do that. But to do it, you have to be mentally clear. You have to be seeing the plan, seeing what you have to do, what you have to order your body to do. He's not seeing that right now. Muhammad Ali is landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. hit right there but he also gave one solid effort by Muhammad Ali off to the side a little swing and a miss going upstairs Comes right back at him with a left hand. That is exactly what the corner wanted to see. A good combination punch by Muhammad Ali. We come to the end of this round. And for this fighter, I think that's a good thing because I was looking out there, Teddy, and it looked like he was breathing in and out of his mouth for most of that round. Yeah, and that's a bad sign. That means that the gas tank is a little low. He's low on petrol. I don't want you to slug it out with this guy, all right? Keep your range. Jab, jab, right, okay? Take a deep breath. Another round, and if it keeps up with the rest of them, it'll be closely contested and hard to score. Ali's so dangerous with that accuracy, a two-punch combination landing. by Mike Tyson. Halfway through the seventh round. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire him right back with one of his own. Good work by Muhammad Ali. Oh, what a whiff by Muhammad Ali.
Double jab upstairs. You know what you do. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. Uppercut. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Muhammad Ali. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Punch and move, punch and move. Ten seconds to go in this round. And that's the end of round seven. I don't want to see you against the rope. As soon as you feel the rope, move out. You need to capitalize on his mistakes, okay? I want to see that counter up. Make him pay for his mistakes. Okay, listen. Body and head. Body and head. Listen, who knows how the ringside judges are scoring this fight right now, but... I will say this, it's a close fight, no matter which way you have it. I know you have him up slightly right now as he's put together a couple rounds. This is a good close fight. It is the kind of fight that goes back and forth, and if you want to keep it on your side, you got to make sure you don't let off that pedal a little bit. Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. Defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. Oh, keep your feet moving. Tyson's defense is paying Take off now. Shot. The halfway point of round number eight. He takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. Ali's lack of defense, especially when it comes with just getting away from that right hand is really costing him a lot here. Well, it's pretty simple. The old timers would say, move your head, otherwise your opponent will move it for you. And he ties up on the inside. Oh, keep your distance. Punch, punch. A little head hunting right back to it. Muhammad Ali's punch is far off the target. Well placed three punches landing by Muhammad Ali. This has been a hotly contested war throughout, and you just have a sense that it's going to end at any moment in these later rounds. Yeah, these guys are not saving anything. They're going for broke right from the beginning. Nice work on the outside. Keep it up. Nice work. Keep it up. This guy never felt a beating like this. Just keep the pressure up. You don't need that. That's what I want. Good action here tonight. Both guys bringing their best, and both guys meeting each other stride for stride, punch for punch. Tough fight to score here as we're back underway. Well placed counter punch by Mike Tyson. How about that? Another right hand. Starting this 
score at ease against his opponent there. Anytime you can land a three-punch combination, you're really hitting your groove. See, he's got his guard up really well that time and protects his head. Ali's combination punching here is showing you what good boxing is all about. Three punches thrown, three punches landed. Muhammad Ali blocks that punch. Good exchange, he fires back. Good double jab by Muhammad Ali. Mike Tyson blocking that punch. Jabs there by Muhammad Ali. That's what I want to see. <laughs> Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Ali's taking a rest between rounds here, and as he does, it gives us a chance to look at the fight overall, because I think now that what you have is a good, really strong, evenly matched fight that he's up on. Yeah, I think so, but he shouldn't think that. You know, it's okay for us to think that in his trainer. More importantly, shouldn't let him think that. He should tell him, this is where a little psychology 101 might come in. You know, I don't say you tell him you're behind, but you say, hey, it's a dead even fight. Win the rest of these rounds. What has been a closely contested battle. Ali's got that one gift that we have seen win time and time again, and that is pure speed. He's got it every which way. Yeah, he's putting those punches together. There's one way that you have to combat speed, and that's not trying to match it, and that's controlling distance and using timing. That's what his opponent needs to do now. That is a big right hand after eating one himself. He engages in the clinch. Good one, too, by Muhammad Ali. They trade shots. He comes back with a right hand. Not getting his mark there going upstairs. One, two. One, two. Ali's showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. Keep moving! Keep moving! Keep your head moving! Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand! Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Muhammad Ali! Ties up there. As basic as can be, but it works. A jab followed by the straight. Final bell of a fight fan's fight here, but also the kind of fight that you know there's going to be controversy over the scoring. Yeah, very close. And the kind of fight where you could be influenced different ways depending on what you like in a boxer. You like a guy who's controlling the outside or a guy who goes inside and gets it done downstairs. The verdict is in, so let's send it up to the ring.